Big the four pushes pushes him around. back. Pa again on the front foot. Oh, McPhee striking it back. He's shaking it off nicely, McPhee. That's not where he wants to be. John Wayne Pa now getting a second breath himself. Well, McPhee's got to be up on these balls of his feet. He's got to be using the perimeter over the ring and not standing trading with, uh, with JW because JW is going to take him out if he gets a chance. JW is in the mind it's of Bruce right McPhee. Here He's he is him again. again. McPhee is on the way down. Somehow he holds on. Somehow he holds on. Well, Christian Troyming got, got to be careful. He's not getting on the, uh, the side of the ring there. He's got to stay in the corner. JW now about to tee off at range. McPhee's got to be oh, clear. Beautiful right hand. He is down again. Will he be saved by the bell? We've got to be close to the end of the second. There, there it is, is the bell. He's saved by the, the bell. The bell signals. It saves Bruce McPhee oh. from almost certain defeat. I it is advantage what. par. Wayne Parr has power packed hands. This is not happened, it was Wayne Parr loading with the elbow, spinning elbow attempted. Fox with that right overhand that just caught the jaw of McPhee. There it is. On the on the uh, left hand side of McPhee's head it was a bit of temple, a bit of jaw, but ultimately it sent him down and he was gone for all money. I didn't, didn't think he was gonna get up from it for a moment there, but he did McPhee. And that's testament to his resolve. The Sydney Swans and the West Tigers proved on the field this year. Fairy tales can and do come true. Socceroos. The Socceroos. Shoot out. The defence of McPhee right up in that triangle. Very strong upper body. And Park throwing a good range of punches there. And the pressure is going to be applied from the opening couple of seconds. McPhee looked over at Brian oh. Murphy. Midway through the break. And give him a bit of a wink. Gave him a wink and said, I'm fine. Oh. But could it be all theatre? Could it be all gameplay? McPhee now turned off on par. Par smiles. On with a receipt of his own. That left shoulder of McPhee is high. Trying to counter that straight right hand of John Wayne Park. Park finds the range with the right. Goes down low. Negates the knees. Well, this is a fight that happens when two well-prepared well Muay Thai athletes step in the centre ring. These guys have been focused and it's all coming together in a hell of a main event for Queensland Thai Boxing Promotions. We are yet to see... A loaded up elbow, hit the target. Oh, he was stunned with that job there. McPhee walked into it. After a dominant round three, Parr is in control. And his hand speed and power and range of punches is starting to pick apart Bruce McPhee. Brian Murphy, our referee, asking McPhee to respond. Now looking for an elbow as par. Well, this would be a good round, Andy, for McPhee, just to settle. Use it as a settling round. Use it as a as a round where he can just reassess him and get himself back in the zone again. He shouldn't be trying to trade big hands. Work from the outside. Don't let himself get bailed up on the ropes. Because on the ropes is certainly where Wayne Parr's going to go to work because his hands are razor sharp tonight, JW. McPhee wins again. And the blue corner best be careful. They have three men all but on the apron as McPhee now mounts. His assault on John Wayne Park. He's got to watch that right hand. The preacher can't let that, that lead hand drop because the right hand sneaking straight over the top and catching him oh, on the jaw. Both men feigning with an elbow in that last exchange. Just a tip push kick once again from Park, getting McPhee on the back foot. Someone so, trying to find an elbow on the ropes. I'll tell you what, Andy Raymond, John Wayne Pass had a lot of breaks getting into the Super League and the K1 Max, but I think uh, on the fight that uh, the Preacher's putting up tonight, he deserves a break, he deserves a shot, he deserves to get 
A crack at the K1 Max and be in there with JW as well, taking on the world's best. What a great crowd. And Par finishes with an elbow. Certainly these two Aussies deserve the accolades and they deserve to be overseas representing Australia. Win, lose or draw for McPhee. I think you've got to give the boy a break because he's shown he's all yeah, heart and he's all certainly. technique as well. Let's have a look at some of the action from the fourth. And geez, isn't uh, Wayne Parr's hands on the money tonight, Andy Raymond? He's letting him fly and he's uh, landing him with some great accuracy. There's a little bit of, uh, of missing, but uh, in any boxing, boxing stoush, no one or not every punch is going to land. It's just the ratio of connecting punches to the ratio of misses. And John Wayne Parr's ratio of connecting punches is pretty good tonight, I can tell you. A calculator, John Wayne Parr, is a very tough defensive task for anyone. Mouth guards in. Our main event for Evolution 6. This is the final round. Touch of class there from our referee, Brian Murphy. Just said to both boys, well done. Well, I think... Oh, uh... McPhee has been rocked. Parr looking for the right hand. He wants to finish it. McPhee is out on his feet. McPhee is rocked backwards. Parr over the top. What does John Wayne Parr have to do to stop Bruce the Preacher McPhee? He fires back McPhee. He finds that little bit of heart. That little bit of digging deep. He's found it and he's fought straight back. He's given it his all, the preacher. I'll tell you what, this is a stellar fight for him, whatever way you cut it. But uh, JW, all class, and like a surgeon, is, uh, is at work operating in centre ring. Pa, ahead on the judges' scorecards. Would love to finish it in style. Would love to finish it inside the 15 minutes. Just a push kick again from John Wayne Park. Why not? He's in control. Letting his hands do the talking at the moment. Feigning and again using that right hand. Well, I think McPhee's doing a bit of a, doing a bit of a rocky now. Just wants to see the fight out. Wayne Park calling him on. And Wayne Park's got to be careful as they turn this into a ball. It has been outstanding. Well, Christian Troyming's got to get out from the, uh, go, boy, from the ring apron. He shouldn't even be on there. That left shin of Wayne Parr would be killing him about now. It's, uh, it's very, very clever tactics how he's turned it into a boxing fight. Andy Raymond, he's left the kicks out and just uh, preserved the yep. leg nicely. McPhee has cut and he takes another right hand. That overhand right of John Wayne Park has been outstanding tonight. This main event has been outstanding tonight. Well, I'll tell you what, Evolution 6, I'll say the show of the year, and this is certainly the fight of the year, the best for 2005. Bring on right Evolution now. 7. I tell you, it can only get better. It's unbelievable. Who goes to Preacher? Preacher looking to the heavens for one last favour. It would be a fairy tale. The oh, two knees. Exchange. Knees. Oh, the two men standing there. They are going toe to toe.